Hey everyone, Eva Thompson here. Welcome back to another video or podcast, depending on where you're watching or listening to this from. Today, I want to talk about what to do if you are in a relationship, you have retroactive jealousy, and you have just found out that your partner has lied to you about their past. I have a video on this already. I think it's titled, What to do if your partner lies to you. I'll link it down in the description below. But I wanted to make another video because I have some questions that I recommend you ask yourself in order to determine whether you wanna stay or whether you wanna leave. Because you can ask the internet, you can ask friends, you can ask family, but at the end of the day, it's your decision. There are two comments that were made underneath a YouTube video and I will read them to you specifically about the situation. So the first one says, it turns out my partner lied to me about how our relationship began and how many other things she did in her past relationship and first we had in hours. I asked her to tell me the truth for months on end and she promised she always did. But I snooped through her phone and I know I shouldn't have, but it proved to me she's been lying to me since the beginning and I really don't know what to feel any advice would be greatly appreciated. So even though you might have retroactive jealousy and you might have asked questions, lying is still not justified, it's not okay. You can understand sometimes why the partner of a retroactive jealousy sufferer does lie because like I mentioned in the other video that I made, they either tell the truth and they trigger the RJ sufferer you know, whether they shame and blame or they shut down or they lie and then if the sufferer finds out, they're gonna blame the partner for breaking trust, not being truthful and all of that. So although you can understand why the RG sufferer's partner sometimes does lie, it still doesn't make lying okay. And as I mentioned, I do want to give you some questions to ask yourself in order to determine what you want to do. The second comment reads, if I knew at the beginning what she did, I would never have started a relationship with her. But even though I know now, I want to stay. In this case, is it possible to still overcome this? Trust needs to be rebuilt if you do want to stay. That's a decision that you need to make. And if you do decide to stay, know that it's gonna take a lot of time and compromise and sacrifice in order to rebuild that trust. Asking yourself what your partner's intention was behind lying can help because it prevents you from taking it personally and internalizing it. So for example, some people lie because they don't wanna be judged. They're afraid of you not wanting to be with them anymore. They feel ashamed it's because it was a traumatic experience and they don't want to talk about it. This is understandable, but if, for example, they have lied to you because they want you to be with them, for me personally, that is a kind of manipulation because it's, I'm going to lie to you so I can get what I want, which is you. So if I've done something and I'm in a relationship and I lie about it because I want the other person to want me, that's selfish. Is it unforgivable? No, I'm just talking to you about how I feel and think about it. But in situations where they're afraid they're gonna be judged, it was traumatic, they didn't wanna trigger you as an RJ sufferer, you can understand why they are lying a little bit more. Again, it doesn't make it okay, we're not trying to justify it, it's just the least you can do here is not take it personally because already it's painful to be lied to. But not taking it personally is going to be helpful. The second thing you need to ask yourself and your partner is, are they apologetic? Do they admit that they've made a mistake? Are they willing to work on themselves? Are they willing to seek help with you or alone? I think once you can answer these questions for yourself and for your relationship and for your partner, you can then determine what you want to do because it's very different if someone lies to you and they're not apologetic, they don't say sorry, they don't care, um, they try to justify it, they're not admitting to their mistakes, they don't wanna seek help, and it's different if the other person's remorseful, it's because they've been through trauma, it's because they don't wanna talk about it, it's because they don't wanna be judged, it's because they don't wanna trigger you, they don't want you to shame and blame them. It's very different, you know? Every person's case is different, which is why I try to answer, I try to make videos that are general, but feel free to message me or comment on the videos about your situation specifically, because no general advice fits every single, person's case. If you are a retroactive jealousy sufferer, I would still recommend working on the retroactive jealousy because lying just makes it worse, but the RJ is still there. It doesn't mean that the RJ is justified. Sometimes you can ask yourself, well, 
did I have RJ all this time or was it my intuition really telling me that something was off and you really can't know but if every single time you get into a relationship RJ comes up then it's likely there is something for you to work on there however of course like I said lying does add to it and the third thing I want to mention is really be honest with yourself about what it's going to take within you to forgive them because you're in a relationship with someone you love them it's familiar you've been together for a while they've lied to you you don't want to let it go but you also don't want to forgive them so you don't want to end up in a relationship where you feel resentful and bitter but you don't want to let it go so what is it going to take from you in order to forgive them what do you need from them going forward in order to rebuild that trust this is going to be difficult because when we get hurt the automatic reaction is shutting down and not wanting to trust again because we risk getting hurt so actively putting yourself in a place where you'd still choose to trust someone or you try to after they've lied to you is not going to be easy it's not impossible i'm not saying don't do it i'm just saying know what it's going to take from you and from them in order to be able to rebuild this patience honesty good communication so many things it's not just I'm going to try and sweep it under the rug, forget about it, but then in a week or a month, I'm going to remember everything and have a fight with them and shame and blame them. And I'm going to be in this relationship where I feel resentful and I feel bitter, but I don't want to break up because I don't want to be alone and I'm familiar with this person in this relationship. It's important to acknowledge that if this has happened to you, it's difficult. It's not an easy place to be in. But what do you want to do? You want to look at what you can control and what you can't control. Making a decision is the first step. Do I want to stay and try? And if yes, what is that going to take? Or do I want to leave and decide that that that's not for me i don't want to forgive them i don't want to be with them anymore and that's it but really the first step is making a decision and then asking yourself those questions that i mentioned what were their intentions why did they lie what is it going to take from you to forgive them are they willing to seek help if you do want to talk to us about this you can book a discovery call using the link below all in all i just wanted to make this video because it's such a tough place to be in when you already have RJ, you already try to not ask questions, you try to trust them, you try and, you know, not give in to the intrusive thoughts, and then you find out that you've been lied to. It's not an easy thing, and lying is not justified, even though you can understand sometimes why the RJ sufferer's partner might have lied. Again, it does not make it okay. So I hope this video helped you guys. Let me know down in the comment section below if you've got any questions or what you think about this, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.